You want to see something funny? <laughs> Come here. Look how the sheep react to this cat. Charles, why do they like you so much? I don't think he understands himself. But they always do this to him. Anytime he's near them. Nah. <laughs> I'll save you. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Hey, Rosie. Hey, Rosie. So this this power this wire here has power on it, the top one. So to get it over to this fence, you just hook it across there and hook it like that. Okay. So you know I may I may say can you hook it to the top wire or the second wire or whatever. I'm just playing with it now to see how it hooks the best. So anyway, that's how you get power to this fence. Okay. So you're just testing all these, <coughs> all these. Well, my plan is to put power on this wire and send it to the gate. Okay. And then at the gate, hook a hook one just like that from the top wire down to the rest of them, so I can unhook it up there okay. at the gate. Okay. It's just this top wire will always be on. Okay. If that makes sense. Mm -hmm. On on this side of the fence, like everything else is disconnected. Like I can disconnect all of that right here. Yeah, okay. So, but anyway, that's, that's all you really need to know is how to hook the, hook the okay. power. So I'm going to walk around the power, the fence now because for some reason the top wire has power on it now and, and it shouldn't. So I gotta go figure out why. Do you need a charger thing? I mean a um, tester thing? Oh. <laughs> Get back in there. Okay. I was just telling him I was glad that he asked me to come do this or actually asked him if I could come and do this with him um, to document what we were doing because um, it's been so hot that I have not been very diligent about exercising but walking up and down this hill and then he got me to go back and do something then I've gotten a little exercise today and I'm really really sweaty so it actually feels pretty good but I do need a shower. So he just got me to hook up the wire that he was explaining to me a while ago and now I've got to go meet him up at the gate.
So this is on? Yeah. I don't know, I'm not as tall as you. Thank you. got it hooked to the top wire and it's wrapped around the top wire so you have to unhook it from the second wire okay and I just need to make sure that this goes out so I can unhook it from up there and there's no power here so that so right makes there? sense yeah up there at that gate okay yeah Does that makes sense yeah so you I eat a persimmon that's uh, bitter <laughs> <laughs> So something's wrong with you? My mouth's all inside out. Oh. Um, so when I get over there, I'm just unhooking the, the yeah. wire from the second wire? Correct. Okay. Because this is hooked to the second wire. Okay. make them that you can just walk up and stick it to it and it'll give you a digital readout. Oh. So, did it work? Yeah. So now I can come in the gate and unhook this and everything's off except for the top wire. Okay. So then I can hook the paddock wire over to the second wire or wherever, maybe this wire, and run the wire and then come back up here and hook it back up when I'm leaving and turn it back on. That's good. Like yesterday, I had to go all the way down to where you were, turn it off, come up here, hook the wire back, I mean, stretch the wire out, go back down there, turn it back on, and come back up here and leave. And the cow, it confused the cows too, because they followed me all the way down there. So I need to go back that way and close the gate. I like your grapevine stick. Is it a grapevine? Yeah. <clears throat> I didn't know. I was just coming through um, there and I was surprised that all the cows were right there as I was walking up there. And they were just lounging. Taking a nap. Huh? Taking a nap. Right? Yeah, they were just lounging. I'm going to make a video of making a manual pump for this well right here. Okay. Sometimes. Yeah, that'd be good. I got to clean it up and uncover it and make sure that it's possible. But I'll just want to put a hand pump in there. I can bring that tub over here and set it down below it, run a pipe over to the tub, and hand pump water out. Yeah, that's good. If you ever need it. I have to name it something, you know, like Samson's Well or something. <laughs> that'd be good. That's a good name. Samson's Well. Yeah. Imagine back in Bible times where there weren't there weren't any fences or you know yeah. uh, machine dug wells. How reliant they had to be on water. Right. That's why that's why wells are named in the Bible. Because they're very prominent places. Right. I guess it's sort of like today's grocery store or supermarket, isn't it? I guess. Sort of. You try to go over it this time. No. <laughs> I can't. I won't make it. Thank you. Does it hurt really bad? Because you got shocked a lot today. 
means I didn't because... Oh, there's my radio I just dropped. It wasn't full, full force because it was grounded into the post. So yeah, it hurt, but not like I have been shot before. <laughs> Remember one, one evening I was deer hunting down there right in front of the house and I had that section just right behind the house. That was the only part that was power, had power on it. Yeah. Energized or whatever. And it's only like a hundred yards of wire. One strand is powered by a 25 mile charger and I hit it with my pants and they were wet and it almost oh, knocked me out of the chair. I feel like I'm jousting. Like I'm holding this thing like I'm in a tournament. I'm hoping to get one more rotation in this after after this round. Maybe two more. I guess, uh, I guess it depends on the weather. I feel like we got a lot of grass since it's August, middle of August. Got at least a, another three weeks. By that time, the uh, the other pastures will be growing back. Remember, in the winter time, last winter, when the sheep started getting out because the solar charger wasn't strong yeah, enough. Yeah, I think so. Like this, it's all the way up every time. Oh, okay. And with the solar charger, it only gets up to about five. But that's what I bought the thing for, just to do all this. This is what you I wish I'd found Greg Judy before I built this pasture. How would you do it different? I wouldn't use all the steel post. Oh. He uses uh, fiberglass post. Oh yeah. So you just drill the post in the ground and then you drill a hole into the post and then run, run the wire directly against the post. So it's a post and an insulator mm -hmm. all together. What's next? Vegetables. Take this back for the girl. You know, quit taking pots and pans out of the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs>